Hey, good afternoon, Hendrik. This is Brayden from Pacific Toyota, just doing a quick virtual tour on our 2021 Toyota Corolla here for you, the hybrid sitting here in front of me. Congratulations again, mate. Thanks so much for your inquiry. It was great talking to you over the weekend. Hope the guys are looking after you on the, uh, the finance side of things. But, um, mate, like I said, as promised, just got the uh, virtual tour here to give you a bit of an idea who we are. So, obviously, Pacific Toyota here in Cairns, mate. We're lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here. So, I'm currently at 235 Mulgrave Road. Uh, we've got another yard pretty much identical up at 77 Mulgrave Road. Uh, you can even see our Toyota Lexus showrooms up the hill there. And uh, service spare parts, everything down the street as well. So, mate, it means we get some absolutely awesome cars just like this one here. So, this one was obviously a sing uh, single owner uh, here in Cairns. And first service and only service through us at about 9,000 kilometres, nearly 10,000 kilometres. So not dual gain, so about probably 25 somewhere there or next year. So really, really good history on that one. Um, I'll be able to provide all that for you as well. But mate, as promised, just want to take you through in as much detail as we can. Um, now this has had a clean, but we can get it rebuffed before we send it down to you. Just let me know. But very tidy across the bonnet. Just a couple tiny little stone chips there and there. If they're a worry for you, just let me know. And I'm sure we can potentially get them touched up for you. Same thing just there. And finally just there as well. Otherwise very clean across that bonnet. I'm trying to be very picky for you. No chips or cracks across the, the windscreen there. Very tidy across the actual roof itself. Apologies for the water mate. I've had to give it a, a bit of a chamois. We got some, some rain last night and more on the way. But very tidy down the passenger side of the car there. See it on the body and everything there as well. I'll kick these wheels out for you too so you can see on those. Again, a little bit dirty because obviously we have had some pretty hectic weather up here. But we get them re-cleaned before we send them down to you. Uh, pretty much brand new tyres obviously. Exactly what you kind of expect. Uh, not too bad through here. Across the front of course as well. Again, just a little tiny stone chip there. Got a little bit of a sort of scuff down on the bottom here. Might have collected a gutter or something like that. Try and see if you can see it in the camera. but. A little bit of a scuff there. And a couple of tiny sort of little ones. Again, just here. Just obviously being the, the low cars that they are. They're just those common areas. Same thing just underneath. But very clean through the rest of it. A little tiny bit of gutter ash on this side, but other than that, incredibly well looked after. side there too. So we'll keep heading around this way for you. And the actual passenger side door itself as well. Now you've got keyless entry on these guys here too, so you do have just the one key with this one. So central locking on there, genuine Toyota Corolla one. So we lock that, unlock it, same thing. Now you've got these two little lines on both the front doors, they're actually gonna lock the door too. So as soon as you come away, it's gonna reset. As soon as the keys are in your pocket and you come up, Simply put your hand in the door handles and she's going to unlock for you too. So just for those front doors, that'll all work for you. Electric windows the whole way around as well. And your build plates there for you too. Very clean through the inside here. Like I said, just a one owner with the, obviously the 16,000 Ks on it. Tiny little bit of a sort of, no, that's sort of coming off of my finger, even better. Clean through the inside here. What's that dark interior? Gotta love it. Tiny little bit of a mark just in the actual console there, probably from someone's elbows just sitting there. But very faint. You've also got the genuine Corolla mats down here too. So, all that sort of stuff we just leave in the car for you. Down to the passenger side rear now. Very tidy through here. Got the child anchor points. Oh, sorry, the um, child box on both the rear doors here too. With the plates for you. Again, you got these mats the whole way around, all fitted. Got the argument separated in the middle here with the cup holders. Got these ones that can drop down, so that little button there will drop these down. And you've got one child anchor point here. As soon as you drop those down, you'll have one, uh, um, two on that as well because they're a 60 40 split. So these will be able to fold just about flat. You can take this little parcel shelf here out too, giving you a massive amount of storage through the back there as well. So I'll leave that down for a second because I'll show you through the boot just how much space you get. Uh, a few releases just here for you too on the passenger side. Pretty tidy through there as well. And again, absolutely stacks of tread on the inside of there. Tiny little bit of a bit of a scuff just here. 
Um, in fact, I reckon a little bit of polish might even clean that out. But I'll talk to the guys at the back and see if we can um, get them to take a look at that. Very tidy across the back here. Just tiny little. Now that's a bit of dirt. And just down to that lower bumper. Very, very tidy. So obviously being the hybrid, we get the blue badges. Automatic uh, struts and everything for the boot there too. Very tidy across the inside. Like I said, these parcel shells we've got, but they just unhook here if you want to take them off. If you don't like them. Try and do that with one hand. And they just pop straight out. So if you don't like that parcel shelf, if you want the storage inside instead. Otherwise underneath here, we've got the spare tyre. So it is one of the get home ones, it hasn't been used at all. It's still brand new tyre sitting there. Um, all your jack and tools, everything all around the outside there too. This actually does come out. So if you're working on the side of the road, putting a change in the flat tyre or anything like that, you can put that on the floor instead of using hot bitumen and things like that. Got tight end points just there and down in here as well. So four, uh, four of those total in the back here. And like I said, we've got the child anchor points. So one, two, and three for the kitties. Close it up for you. Look just across that roof. And just down that driver's side as well. Very clean on this side. Well looked after through here. So again, same thing, we can drop this one down. Giving you that massive amount of space through the back there. It's nearly flat with the boot. They just click straight back up into place. Nice and easy. A little bit of storage in the back here for the kids as well. And then finally the driver's saw. Driver side door itself as well. So again, keyless entry on both the front doors, like I said. Open this up for you. Just finally the driver side door card as well. So obviously all your controls over here, the electric windows, all your central lock and window locks and the power fold mirrors there too. So when the car's running, you can actually use this one here. Those mirrors will tuck in. So it gives you a little bit more space to open the door, shopping centers, things like that or even just at home between garage doors, things like that. Mirror controls are here, so your left and right side of the car and adjust the toggle there as you need to. Very clean through the inside here. Height adjustment for short people like me, so you can crank that right up. A little tiny bit of a mark just in the seat. But again, if, just let me know if it's all stuff that we can uh, potentially look at. Now again, being the hybrid, so it is push button start, so as long as the keys are on the inside of, are in the car, you've got a little prompt up here to remind you that you do have to have your foot on the brake in order to be able to start the car. So foot on the brake, push this little button there, and being a hybrid, that's it. So you can't actually hear the engine at the moment. When it does turn on and kick over, you will hear uh, like a normal car. Just turn that aircon down. So obviously while we're here, we've got the aircon controls here, fan speeds in the middle to, to raise and lower that one. They are dual climate control, so I can sit here and make the passenger side temperature go up and down, and then the driver's side completely independent as well. So if I'm sitting here freezing my guts off, I can crank the heater up, and the passenger can have their cold side right down as well. Obviously where you want the car um, coming out of, all the, uh, the, the specific details. Massive big touchscreen display up here. Got a little reverse camera tucked in the back there too, so you can physically see the back bar in the, in the back there, so you never really should back into anything because you can physically see it yourself. Um, otherwise, that little red line's about a foot away from the back of the car. Gives you a really good sort of sense of purpose when you're backing up to another car. It gives you enough space to walk between, open the boot and all that kind of thing and then obviously these blue lines here. So being stationary blue lines, they make it real nice and easy for parking the car um, because you can literally line yourself up with the white lines and you should be pretty much perfect every time. Makes it nice and easy. Otherwise, go back into park. It's gonna bring you back to this display here. This is, when you press home, this is what it's gonna bring you to, this little menu. You've got your little favorites here. So if you're on the, um, once your phone's connected via the Bluetooth, you can go straight into that, your contacts, calls, all that kind of thing as well. Bluetooth, so whatever's playing on the radio, FM, AM, Bluetooth, whatever you're using at the time. And of course, your little um, status stuff here, so your fuel side of things. So real nice and easy. You can click into any of those at any time and bring them up into a full screen. Otherwise, we've got this little menu button here that's going to bring you other little sub-menus. It's probably the most common ones that you're going to use. 
So you can jump straight into the audio, any of your settings, all that kind of thing from those two buttons there. It makes it real nice and easy. You just heard that engine kick in, so obviously the um, that's going to start charging the battery because once you start using that being stationary, the engine kicks over to start charging that as well. Down here we've got the EV mode, we've got traction control, we've got a couple of different drive modes, so power, sports, eco, all that kind of thing that you'll see pop up in the corner. Chuck that back into park. Electric handbrake down here, we've got an automatic hold there too. It's a real handy one for construction sites, things like that, where you want to leave the car in drive. If you're on a slope or anything like that, it's going to hold the car in place. And allow you to just take off when you're, when you're ready to, once the light goes green or anything like that. Just a real handy one for that. Bit of storage in there, we've got a 12 volt plug as well. Cup holders down the bottom. Very tidy across the actual bonnet itself. Um, on the steering wheel here, so we've got a little radio control so you can jump between everything, little sub menus and everything that you see down there are controlled from this side here, as well as your Bluetooth options, volume and that kind of thing. Wipers are all up on the left hand side, which you might be used to. Headlights are all over on the right. Autom they're set to automatic at the moment, so your headlights will turn on and off as they need to. So daytime, nighttime, underground car parks, anything like that. Otherwise, your parkers, headlights, high beams, blinkers are all like normal as well. Um, just while we're on that, down the back here, we've got an automatic setting for the high beams too. So you can turn that on and off. And again, um, if you ever see people driving towards you at nighttime and their lights look like they flasher, that's what this one is. So it's an automatic setting. So it's actually light sensitive. It'll pick up other cars and it'll turn your high beam on and off as it needs to. Real handy one. Your safety stuff's up here. So cruise control's there. You can jump between your different uh, radio st uh, songs, things like that at the moment from this one as well. And of course your lane departure and uh, for adaptive cruise control all from there as well. So real nice and easy on this one. While you're driving, it's really um, nice and easy to operate from the, obviously your thumbs, things like that. Um, what else we got? <laughs> Trying to get through as much as we can for you. Uh, drop down handles, we've got adjustable seat belts there too, but the drop down handles the whole way through, obviously the black interior, we've got airbags going through, the, the curtain ones across the top, in the dash, in the steering wheel, um, in the seats as well, absolutely everywhere, so very, very safe cars there too. Uh, I'll leave this running, the fuel release is just down here as well, like I said it's over on the passenger side, bonnet release is just there too. Um, I will actually leave this running for a second because I want to show you just under that bonnet as well. See a little hybrid motor, incredibly well looked after. Like I said, it's uh, full service history and it's only been serviced through us here in Cairns. So, full Toyota service history, you can't ask for better than that, mate. And a single owner. But very tidy through there, so you'll hear that kick on and off as it needs to. So it's obviously charged up a little bit of the battery and that'll now switch off. So while you're driving, it's gonna do the same thing. So really clever systems. Beautiful. So thanks so much again, Hendrick. It's uh, been great working with you and look forward to hearing your thoughts.